Well, good evening. According to the city, two new arrival families were kicked out of a shelter on Saturday for missing curfew multiple times. However, those close to the situation say that this was the first offense for the families missing curfew by seven minutes and leaving them no other choice than to camp out at a nearby park. According to the city of Chicago, on Saturday, August 12th, two newly arrived families were asked to leave the Super 8 Motel on Sheridan and Chase Avenue after multiple curfew violations. Officials say they were offered alternate shelter at the end of Chicago, but they refused. According to the city, a second attempt to locate the families on Sunday was unsuccessful until today when they were located and offered shelter at the end of Chicago, which the city says the families accepted. Baltasar Enriquez, president of the Little Village Community Council, says it's a similar incident he's heard from other migrant families. A lot of people that are in this refugees, they don't know the city. They don't know where to stay. They don't have families here. So we have to find them somewhere to stay. And sometimes we put them with our members' houses or somebody that volunteers to give a place for them to stay. Okay. Sarai Lopez is a new arrival mother of two. She says rules at the shelter include no entering or leaving the building between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. and no food in the sleeping areas. Rules she says she tries to abide by to avoid any violation. In a statement, the city says, with nearly 6,400 people in shelters, we cannot make exceptions for every situation that arises. There are rules in place for all 15 shelters for the safety of shelter residents, staff, and the surrounding community. Adding that shelters have a curfew of 11 p.m. unless a person has prior approval and have notified their caseworker in advance for things like work. Still, Enrique says he would like to meet with city officials to help find a happy medium when it comes to helping new arrivals understand the rules and avoid getting kicked out. So we have reached out to them so they could sit down with us and we could create the policies with them, with the community input. Um, some of the residents here are kind of not upset, but, you know, they're seeing the asylum seekers on the street, they're sleeping on the floor, and, you know, this is bringing down their property value in a way. Uh, we went this afternoon to try to locate those families at Loyola Park and were told by another new arrival family that they had indeed accepted shelter. Now, according to the city, in the last seven days, they have received at least 11 buses from Texas and are working diligently to try to place them all into shelters. Reporting in Little Village, Christine Flores, WGN News.